Hello everybody and welcome back. Last episode, Anya went undercover and she went into the Flatyard prison, which was very interesting. We came back to Fortune Shore and I uh, touched base with Asha. She let me know that she actually is the target of an assassination plot. So we're tr gonna try to figure out a little bit more about that. If you're enjoying my channel, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and speak to Nora. It looks like she's right down here somewhere. Oh, not Nora. Noah. Hello, the Noah. winds of change are coming. Uh, what can I do for you, stranger? I'm in the middle of negotiating a deal, but I can spare a moment. Well, do you happen to know any assassins? Well, listen, pal. I don't like squealing on potential customers. <laughs> I also don't like giving up things for free. Why don't you come back when you've learned some simple economics? Go with the strength of the ancestors. Well... By the wind, I greet you. All right. Who's buying the weapons? Even if I told you the list of people buying weapons would be longer than my arm. Weapon sales are second only to Sourcestone. People are afraid of the dragon cults interfering in our business and want to protect themselves. I won't squeal on customers, so I think we're done talking. Trust in your companion. This isn't going well. <laughs> Accept my hospitality. Um, all right, well, I demand information on an assassin. Well, let me guess, you demand and I supply? And if I don't, something bad happens? Well, I guess I can't refuse such a clever defiant, can I? I don't know any assassins. But I've heard rumors that the Gutterborn and Steeljaw gangs in Fortune Shore are up to something. Apparently, they've been stockpiling their own source stone for some time. Not sure what they need it for, but it's certainly a good bet it ain't for world peace. If you want to find out more, I'd suggest speaking with the companions in the tavern to the south. Okay, thank you. Glory and honor to you. Okay, interesting. Well, let's go speak to the companions. See what that's all about. Um. I think they're inside this building here. Here's a companion. Hello. Greetings. Yeah! Oh, why, yeah! hello there, cleric. Is there something you wanted? Yeah! I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, yeah! you're too good for this place. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah! You're right. I don't belong in a place like this. The gangs in town have been doing nothing but fighting and stealing, preparing for some ridiculous plot. I probably shouldn't be talking like this. Well, if you talk about it, you might feel better. You know, I have been feeling low lately. I thought it was the climate, but maybe it's my conscience. The gangs have gone too far. I can't give you any names, but you wouldn't go far astray by searching through some of the trash heaps in town. I know it's unseemly, but sometimes they hide notes for their contacts in the trash. Okay, well, thank you. May that you helps a lot. Tomorrow. So now we're going to go look for suspicious notes in the trash. <laughs> um. Let's see.
Oh no! I was just looking at your trash. There's no need to be rude here. Bad idea. side of this building real quick. Oh no. Well. I only need two more. But I don't want to get anywhere near um Here, here we go. Okay, I just need one more. There's one over there. Now, these notes were all from somebody named Edward Macklin. So, I need to interrogate him. I think he's going to be right over here. Here he is. Um, hello, uh, Edward. Greetings. Get out of my house. I got things to do. Um, do these notes look familiar? What? I don't know what you're talking about. These look like pieces of trash to me. Um, I hope you didn't just pick up any diseases sifting through the garbage. Maybe you should worry about your own problems. Well, my leaders would like an answer. Well, why should I care about the defiance? You people are, he are new here. You can't do anything to me. Well, here's a display of our power. Live gloriously. Die heroically. I give up. I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. Hello. I'll talk, I'll talk. They're planning something big, but I bet you'd be more interested in who's pulling their strings. It's one of your own. A defiant named Ellera Murrin has been working with the gangs. Surprised that one of your own could betray you? Get used to it, friend. There are powers at work here you cannot comprehend. So we need to uh, assassinate the Larum Morin. Let's see. I'm guessing this person is going to be in here. There she is. Hello, Alara. Well met. Can I help you? Traitor. So, you've uncovered my guise. Very well. It was only a matter of time. We were planning something much greater. 
Your precious leaders will not survive our next assault. What do you say to that, defiant? <laughs> well, this is what I say to that. We will find victory. All right, now we have to go back to Asha. All right, Asha, I think I took care of the assassin issue. I take orders from neither man nor God. Oh, I can hardly believe it. One of our own betrayed us. I trusted Elera with the tracking of Source Stone in Fortune Shore. If she was corrupt from the beginning, it explains much about our current situation. I had not thought Fortune Shore was this far out of our control. The security of our position in Fortune Shore was an illusion. Your investigation indicates that the local gangs are involved in an assassination attempt against me. But they seem incapable of carrying out such a deed. They must have outside help. Find out what they're doing and search the barrels they've been importing. Okay. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. All right, well, let's get on that. Definitely can't be running off and doing any other quests right now because we have to protect Asha. So we need to um, collect manifests and scrolls and gunpowder. So we're looking for barrels. I think I remember seeing some over here. Um. There, up here. We'll get this information one way or the other. I didn't see you. Oh. 
All right, so we've got all the gunpowder that we need. Now we just need to, I guess, kill these guys. Get what else we need. Let's see. Two more of these gutter manifests. So let's go back down here. So all we need are uh, steel jaw scrolls, and I, they were a different area here. Born. Suspicious traitor. Okay, dude. Ooh, not going over there. All right, we need to look on this side a little bit more. Let's go down here. This looks promising. No! One more. Okay, that's not who I needed. Steel jaw. Right, Asha, I cleaned up the trash. I take orders from neither man nor God. Gangs are indeed tainted. That much is clear. Judging from the documents you recovered, the Storm Legion is controlling the Steel Jaw, while the Golden Maw is backing the Gutterborn. 
The Dragon Colts have infiltrated Fortune Shore, and they're importing barrels of gunpowder. We have to act fast. Ooh, okay. We're in luck. One of the Gutterborn Manifests names the assassin that the Golden Maw hired to kill me. His name is Amon Tickle. He's sleeping in a house in Southern Fortune Shore and awaits orders from his handlers. You have to slay Amon Tickle before he's activated. Um, to give him a fitting end, I ask that you use the Gutterborn's gunpowder to disrupt his slumber. Okay. So we have to plant the gunpowder bomb and then kill Almond before he is activated. Accept okay. no truth. You cannot touch, see, and hear. All right. I don't know. I'm not going to get involved in that. I am busy. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're going to have to go up those stairs. I am guessing. Well, I really don't want to fight these guys. When I get my business handled. Oh. So maybe it's just this building over here. All right, Asha, I took care of that dude you wanted me to. I take orders from neither man nor God. I knew you would not fail me, Anya. Though we have suffered betrayal and the erosion of our power here in Fortune Shore, you've shown the persistence and loyalty of a true defiant. Well, of course. Grains of sand. With the assassin terminated, we can return our attention to the Dragon Cults. The first target of our vengeance will be the Storm Legion. They've been honing their grasp of mind control and must be stopped before all of Shimmer Sand becomes mindless drones. Speak to Essam Fudile at Windfury Fury Post to continue the fight against the Storm Legion. Okay. Believe in yourself and, that and you will succeed post is in the south so we are going to check our map so we need to go down over here so we are going to head in that direction um now that does appear to be up those steps so we're just going to head up there.
All right, let me see on the map where we're at. Looks like we got to go this way. I think this is it right here. Yep, fantastic. Hello, Essam. Ah, good to see you. The Storm Legion made slaves of my friends at Cutthroat Cove. I came to Win Fury Post for a chance of revenge. If Asha sent you to help us, then we are fortunate indeed. The Storm Legion has pushed us to the breaking point, and now they're going to pay. The Storm Legion has many allies in Shimmer Sand, but the trolls at Crescent Ridge are not among them. Zara explained to me that trolls are creatures of the Earth Plane, and therefore not servants of Crucia. They're extremely dumb, but with a little help, I'm sure we can use them to our advantage. Get mountain trolls to destroy the hypnotic repeaters on Crescent Ridge by planting harpy corpses next to the machines. Okay. Best of luck. Okay, everybody, I think we're going to leave the episode here. So we were able to thwart the assassination attempt. Uh, however, now we are on a whole a different trajectory. Uh, so we are going to continue that next episode. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And hope to see you. Take care now. Bye-bye, all.